Hello YouTube, I know it's been a while. I have a really neat project here that I just kind of wanted to show off. This is my old laptop. Uh, the motherboard died. So this is the laptop dissected. Part of it, that's part of it. And inside of here is the dead motherboard. Yay! There goes my laptop. So what to do next? And I didn't want to spend another, you know, three to five hundred dollars on a used eBay laptop. I got five years out of that. It cost me like three hundred dollars. I didn't want to do that again and continually have cheap pieces of crap fail on me. I decided to follow some YouTube videos on how to make your own, pretty much. Got an inverter board, which powers a monitor. And these are just the monitor buttons to turn on the display. Uh, as well as some, you know, like TV controls for horizontal, vertical positioning, all that is built into that. This is an Intel compute stick. This is the computer. And it gets fairly hot. I don't know if you can see that little melted divot into the HDPE case. That's what this is. Case cost me about 30 bucks online. Figure out a way to stand this off of the case, otherwise it's just going to melt holes in the bottom of it. So this is going to be kind of a a video for blue hands because I broke something <laughs> during the process. These are the mounts that go on the side of the case, and it basically hinges. So this is how your laptop rotates the the lid, and then these mounts mount onto the side here with little screw holes that screw into the side and then I melted the standoffs these are just regular computer standoffs motherboard standoffs took a torch butane torch heated this up and then just melted it right into the face there luckily this is double wall there's two walls and it only goes through the first wall you can't even feel it on the back side because it hasn't penetrated the other wall so perfect and it's in there so snug uh, it melted the threads as I was pushing it in melted the plastic around the threads so this thing's not coming out that's really cool I mean it almost seems like it's a perfect size but it just does not quite fit in there so I purchased a 14 inch uh, keyboard that comes with a little trackpad so I can kind of mimic uh, a conventional laptop trackpad you know with my fingers I can use the pad as well as this. Uh, of course, I'll still be able to use a mouse, but I'd like to have just the trackpad, and that will sit on this side of the keyboard, uh, not like a conventional trackpad, which is below the spacebar. Uh, so, I'll turn it on and show you how it works. It'd be good if I plug it in. So, the compute stick only comes with an HDMI out. Okay, so now I've got it powered on. We've got the Windows 10 login screen. That's just a wallpaper, ignore that. It's Windows 10. This is the entire laptop, really. I mean, everything is powered by this compute stick, and it gets ridiculously hot. Uh, burns right through it. So, the whole problem I'm really having um, is this mount. Snapped off. So the one on the left is the one I broke, and the one on the right here is how it should look. And it's really hard to get in there, but that is some seriously thin metal. and the holes were not large enough. I had to en try and enlarge the holes and when I did it snapped it right off. Uh, of course me tried to use it with a drill and this really thin galvanized steel. I, I don't think it's aluminum, I think it's galvanized metal. It just snapped right off so without that let's say on this side you know I can mount the monitor no problem but on that side, of course, there's nothing that's not going to work. Um, so I'm thinking uh, some kind of sandwich uh, scheme. I don't know what it's called. Like a miter joint, machine out, you know? And you could slide it on both sides and then have some kind of mount for here. I can move those mounts, um, but the size is very specific. This is the, the standoff, just your regular motherboard PCB standoff screw. And the screws that go in them are very small. You know, your regular motherboard screw is what goes in that standoff. And then on the side, 
the side mounts are tiny, 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 tiny screws. Um, those are the ones that go into the side here, and then they get mounted to the side of the panel. Like that. The hinge I planned on dremeling off anyway. I was going to zip it right there so that I, that I only have this part. And the, all of these holes are too small as well. So I would have had to enlarge all of these holes as well. That was just not going to work with as thin metal as this is. Uh, yes, yeah, need to find something better. I can make a wood surround, but that's not going to look. That's not going to look okay. Uh, so I'm thinking, you know, some kind of machine fabrication work that I am simply incapable of doing. I'm going to throw this over to my friend over at uh, Blue Hands Video, Mike. He does some fabrication work, and if you haven't checked out Blue Hands Videos, go check him out. He's He's got some really neat stuff. He does machining, garage work, tooling, custom fabrication, cool little projects. Uh, we're talking everything from like custom brake calipers to, I don't know, basically anything you can do on a lathe or a machine, you know, tool kind of thing. Uh, he's a really good guy as well. So. Go check out Blue Hand's video if you haven't already. Uh, Intel Compute Stick, $130 for the Intel Compute Stick. Uh, $40 for the case, $40 for the keyboard and mouse, $40 for the inverter. And the screen, of course, would be free, but you can buy those online for about $40 as well. So basically every component is $40 except for the Compute Stick, which is $130. So if you total that up, that's ba basically how much this project costs. Uh, you can repurpose old laptop screens like this. Uh, if you want to make a surround and mount it to a wall, all you need is the inverter board and a compute stick, basically. Um, and you can make like an entire wall full of these things. It's really cool stuff. So that's all I got for you. I know it's just a real quick, stupid video. Um, yeah, so go check out Blue Hands' video. I hope Mike gets this, and uh, tell me what you think, Mike. See you later.